the car patrol. Hmm. Hey, Carl. Looks like you're oh. having a good day. Huh? Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. Is that your house that's on fire? I mean, Super Truck's house? You'd better call the car patrol. Oh. Don't worry. They'll keep your identity a secret. Car what? Patrol, mm -hmm. Carl the Transformer is in trouble. His house is on fire, and it will soon spread mm -hmm. to his secret super truck cave. Mm -hmm. You didn't know Carl was super truck? Mm -hmm. Well, you must keep it a secret. Mm -hmm. Oh no! The fire is getting bigger! Uh-oh! It doesn't look like Frank will manage this alone! Hector is going to go and get some more help, Carl. Matt thinks you should put your mask on so no one knows your super truck. Don't worry, Frank. Help is on the way. This lot will have that fire put out in no time. Notice that you're super truck. Mm. Great! Susie's keeping the fire away from the entrance to Super Truck's cave. Mm -hmm. And there's Ben looking after the plants and the earth as always. It'll be hard for him to protect that tree though. It's a good thing Charlie can reach high places. At last, the fire is out. What a great team effort. Hey, where's Super Truck? He's checking if the cave is okay. I hope there's not too much damage. Good news, everyone. Super Truck says you've put out the fire before it spread to his cave. It's usually Super Truck helping the inhabitants of Car City. But this time, he needed your help. And you came to his rescue. Well done. The Car Patrol. 
It's another night in Car City. All is quiet and everyone's asleep. Hey Amber, is that your siren? Uh -huh. Then why isn't it on your head? You'd better call the car patrol. Hey, Car Patrol, Amber's in trouble. Someone's stolen her siren, and they're waking up the whole neighborhood with it. Great idea, Matt. Follow the sound of the siren, and you'll find the thief. Which way? Left or right? Hector, Matt thinks the noise is coming from the playground. It sounds like you're getting closer to the thief. Wait, the sound has stopped. Maybe you should check out the playground anyway. It seems the thief's not there, is he? Hey Hector, Matt and Frank didn't find the thief, but maybe you'll have more luck. There's the thief, Hector. Let's warn the others. Matt, Frank, Hector spotted the thief. He's driving away over here. Uh-oh, the thief has spotted Matt. But he didn't see Frank coming. <laughs> He's been caught. Well, well, well. It's Tyler Tyke who's behind this. Huh? It's no use trying to get rid of the evidence, Tyler. You're under arrest. <laughs> Here's Amber just in time to get her siren back. Man, 
That's right. Since Tyler likes sirens so much, he'll enjoy his journey to the police station. Great teamwork, Car Patrol. You found the thief and got Amber's siren back. Time to go back to bed at last. Good night, all. The Car Patrol. Hi, Carrie. That smells delicious. Mm-hmm. You must be tired from baking all those cakes. I think it's time for bed. Mm. <coughs> what was that? You think it came from the kitchen? Hmm. Shall we go and see? Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Where are all your cakes? Hmm. Don't worry, Carrie. Let's ask the car patrol to help. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, what? Carrie the candy car needs your help. Somebody has broken into her house and eaten all her cakes. Can you come and take a look? Great, let's go. Don't worry, Carrie. We'll find out who ate your cakes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Matt, mm -hmm. shall we look for clues? Mm -hmm. Can you see anything? Uh -uh. No? Okay, where else can we look? Those cake crumbs? You found some too, Frank? You think whoever ate Carrie's cakes has left a trail? Great. Let's follow it. Hey, Hector, let's follow the trail of crumbs and find out who ate Carrie's cakes. <laughs> Look, there's Tyler. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Matt, Frank, come this way. Hector has found the culprit. Mm -hmm. Here he is. <laughs> Did you eat Carrie's cakes? Mm. <laughs> then why do you have cake all around your mouth? <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> hey, stop! <laughs> He's running away! <laughs> Got him! Well done, Car Patrol! 
Tyler, mm. are you going to say sorry? Mm. No. Mm -hmm. Well, then mm -hmm. you're going to get a shower. Mm. Mm. Ah, so you did eat the cakes. Mm -hmm. That's very naughty, mm. Tyler. Now you're going to have to help Carrie bake them all over again. Mm hmm? Mmm. Bye, Tyler. Mm -hmm. Bye, Carrie. Yeah. See you soon. The Car Patrol. Yeah. Hi there, babies. It's a great, lovely day for playing. Careful on the slide. Uh-oh, look out. Oh, no. Now you're both stuck. I don't think the slide can handle another car, Susie. Stop. Don't do it, Susie. What a mess. Don't worry, baby Katie. It will be okay. Susie, let's ask the car patrol to help. Hey guys, there was an accident at the playground and baby Katie is trapped. Can you save her? Great. Let's go. The car patrol is here to help you, baby Katie. Hold on. Matt's right, guys. Don't panic. The car patrol can take care of this. Now, what should we do, car patrol? Great idea, Matt. Hector can use his magnetic crane to lift up the seesaw set and slide. Uh-oh, it's too heavy. We need more muscle. Of course, Frank is the strongest. He can pull while Hector lifts. That's it, guys. You've almost got it. Okay. Now just get the seesaw set and Katie will be free. Good work, car patrol. Oh good, Amber is here to help Katie too. We're so glad you're okay, baby Katie. 
Bye, Amber. Mm -hmm. Now, babies, remember how important it is to take turns while you're playing. We want to keep you safe. Aw, that's so sweet of you, Susie. What a nice way to say you're sorry. Bye, everyone. See you soon. The Car Patrol. Yeah. Here comes the Car Patrol. Car City is safe with Matt and Frank keeping an eye on things. Uh-oh. Frank seems to be warning Matt about something. Oh, there's a brick in the road. And now Matt's got a puncture. He won't be able to patrol the city with a flat tire. Frank? Maybe you can use your hook to take Matt to Tom the tow truck's garage. Hey guys, mm -hmm. aren't you forgetting something? Mm -hmm. You should remove that brick so no one else gets a puncture. Mm -hmm. Great. That's strange. Tom's got a lot of customers today, and they all seem to have flat tires, just like Matt. It looks like they might have driven over the bricks and damaged themselves, too. Let's hope Tom can fix Matt quickly so he and Frank can start investigating. Sorry to bother you, Tom. You look very busy today. But Matt really needs your help. He's driven over a brick that was left in the road, and now he has a puncture. Matt and Frank need to find out who's behind this and put a stop to it as soon as possible. Is there any chance you can fix him next? <laughs> you can go in now, Matt. That's it. Take it nice and slow. Now it's time to put on a new tire. Thanks so much for fixing Matt quickly, Tom. And thanks to all of you in the queue, too. Now Matt and Frank can go and find out who's been putting all those bricks on the road. Hey, there's Ben the tractor. He might know something about the bricks. Maybe you should go and ask him. Ben doesn't know anything about the mysterious bricks, but he's given you a clue. Ben's waiting for Flavy the flatbed truck and Edgar the excavator to deliver some bricks so he could have a wall built. I think you're on to something. Let's go and find them. Thanks for the information, Ben. There's Flavy and Edgar. But they don't have any bricks to take to Ben. Maybe they drop them on the city's roads. Let's ask them. Mm. 
someone stole the bricks? Hmm. Don't worry, guys. Matt and Frank will find the thief. Whoa! That was a close call. Hmm. Seems like whoever stole Flavie and Edgar's bricks purposely planted them around Car City. But who would do such a thing? Oh, should have known. It's Tyler Tyke. He's usually up to no good. You've been caught, Tyler. We know it was you who stole Flavie and Edgar's bricks and scattered them around the city. It might have been fun for you, but it hasn't been fun for anyone else. Good idea, Matt. Tyler needs to learn his lesson. Maybe he should be made to gather up all those bricks and give them back to Flavie and Edgar. Frank's absolutely right, Tyler. You should help the construction team fix the damage to the roads, too. You did a great job, guys. Now Car City is safe again, and Flavie and Edgar will get their bricks back, which means Ben will finally get his wall built. The Car Patrol. Here, mm -hmm. there seems to be something wrong with Pickle today. Mm. Hey, Hector, have you noticed? Pickle seems oh. lost. Hey there, Pickle. Hector's been watching you drive all over the city. What's happening? Mm. You got lost trying to deliver some materials to the construction squad? Mm. All the road signs seem to be pointing in the wrong direction? Mm. Follow Hector to the headquarters, Pickle. Matt and Frank need to know about this. Frank, we need you. Hector found Pickle lost in Car City. It seems there's a problem with the road signs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hector says he can show Pickle the way to the construction site while you guys investigate these confusing road signs. Mm -hmm.
What have you seen, Matt? Pickle was right. Someone turned the road sign around. The hospital sign is the wrong way around, too. You'd better catch up with Frank and start searching the city for whoever's turning these signs around. Frank mm -hmm. seen something mm -hmm. suspicious. Mm -hmm. It's Tyler the Tyke. He's meddling with a sign for your headquarters. Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. Looks like the car mm -hmm. patrol has a plan for trapping Tyler. Mm -hmm. That's right, Tyler. You've been seen messing with that road sign. Aha! You're not getting away that easily, Tyler. What a great day's work. You guys are the best. As for you, Tyler, well, the only signs you'll be looking at for a while are the ones inside the headquarters. Oh.